Hi everyone, Kurt Baker, uh, part of the Mudhole teaching staff. Uh, like to go over how to install a piece of EVA grip. It's a little different than installing a piece of cork. Cork you fit to where it fits and then you just glue it and slide it in place. EVA is a compression type fit. It has to be snug or it's not gonna hold. It's gonna be too loose and then when the glue sets, it'll break loose. So you can also push this down a lot further. You can see that this one doesn't go all the way to the bottom. So if I wanted this to go down here at the bottom, I would actually take this down here and I would measure this back up and say, okay, there's where the grip's gotta go. And it seats way up here, but that's too far to try and push this grip without it sticking and being really hard to push. So I wanna ream this grip out some. So if I take and I kind of double this out and you do about four to six inches above where it's gonna fit and you ream this to where it fits there, the push will be a lot easier especially if you're using the wind grips or the, the uh, mud hole uh, MHX grips here. Uh, this has a polymer on the outside that does not stretch very well and the inside stretches real well. So what happens is it distorts this outside. So you want this to fit so when you slide it in place, when I slide this down onto my rod blank, I want it to be four inches and you can see this one goes all the way down. So that's, that's not tight enough. That would, that would be not, not a good, good bond there. So if it would fit right here, I want to slide this down to where it's about four inches away from where it's going to go ahead of it. And then I would epoxy from here down to the bottom. And then I would slide my grip into it, rotate it around and spin it into place. Make sure with the wind grips, they have patterns on them. Make sure that these patterns are in the right location. It can, it can cause you a heartache and, and you don't want to lose an $8 uh, grip just by making a mistake and putting it on wrong. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this. The other thing that you can use to help you out, if you've got a, a long grip, especially on the really fast tapered big, big offshore rods, um, they get really bound up really quick when you're trying to push them down. So I found that if you get 100% mineral spirits and you put that inside the grip and slosh it around a little bit, dump it out, then you put that into your glue, rotate it around and slide it, it'll go right into place. So we're gonna try and slide this piece all the way down to the bottom. You can see it's gonna be a pretty good push. That's a long ways to push this. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix up some epoxy. We use Pro Paste. It's a 50-50 mix. It does not have to be perfectly uh, measured. Not like they're finished. The finish has to be 100% perfect. This does not. So I'll put some on a plate. You wanna make sure that you have isopropyl alcohol here. Uh, this is 100 or 99 percent isopropyl. Um, 72 and 74 percent. It just is really hard to get the stuff to come off. It's sticky. Um, the other thing is when you get done washing your hands and they still feel tacky, if you use hand sanitizer, it's made usually with ethyl alcohol, and it uh, it'll take that sticky feel off your hands. Same with fast orange will also uh, help to get that sticky feel off. Let me get a little bit more of this over here. Get this mixed up. I'm just going to mix it up just like we would get it good and good and colors change. It's going to go to a cream creamsicle kind of color. Get that there. Again, now I've slid this down. This is where it's going to go to right here normally. I'm going to slide this back up. I'm going to start right up here with this glue. And I got really short arms, but we're going to try to do this without sticking my shirt in it. I'm gonna go in here and just get started on it. And I'm gonna coat this all the way to the bottom where it's gonna final get resting point's gonna be. This, this EVA is gonna use this glue to ride on as a, as a lubricant. And so I wanna get a good coat of it on there. I'll set this on here so I don't get too much mess. This is just some mineral spirits. I put it in a, in a vaporizer bottle thing here. I put my hand over the one end. And I'm just gonna spray it down inside. I'm gonna shake it around a little bit, put my finger over it, let it come out. Not a whole lot in there, you can see just a little bit came out. That's good, that's perfect. I'm gonna take a slide this down and into place. Now I'm pushing it, this is where it went down too easily and then it's gonna get a little tougher. So I'm putting it in here and as I'm doing it, I'm turning the rod blank. Now I've got it good and coated on the inside. And now with one push, you wanna take and line this up, get everything where you want it to go. I'm gonna take my thumb and my forefinger and create an O-ring seal here at the top. And with one push, I'll push to the bottom. 
and you can see how easily that went down. And I mean, I increased the size of that by a good half an inch bigger than it was. So the thing that you gotta worry about is if like this, this, is, this needed to be reamed because now this feels like a piece of concrete. It's very, very dense right now. So if I hit this with something that was hard and it has a, a sharp edge on it, it'll cause this thing to actually explode even after it's dry. So you wanna ream them out a little bit and get them close to where they're gonna fit and you won't, you'll avoid that uh, as being a problem. And then for cleanup, you just get some isopropylene alcohol, bunches of paper towels, and just clean it up. Again, just remember not to stick the butt of the rod up against your chest because it's got glue on the bottom of it and you'll end up with a ring of glue. Personal experience, I can tell you that that does not work well. And then clean the bottom off. Stand it aside and wait for it to dry. In this case, I was using the um, fast set. It says 25 minutes. It tacks up in about 25 minutes, but a good dry time is about two hours. It'll be to where you can continue on working without having too much trouble. That's about it for putting on EBA.